unmute that. There we go. Welcome to the last of the UK oh. Summer Vape Shows, episode 282, with our special guest, Mr. Mark of the Soli Omis. As you will notice, Pud is no longer here. He is currently being chased by people from Wales. I don't know why, but that's the thing that happened. It might be something to do with last week. Then again, it might not be. Actually, no, Pud's, Pud's kids are not feeling too well. So he's the off to take... The United Kingdom are kicking him. He's, <laughs> he's off... <laughs> Repeatedly. He's off to take care of the little ones. So I hope I hope Pud's little ones... Uh, it's, it's probably a little yeah, tummy bug or pod. something. Yeah. Big love, Pud. So, who are we going to pick on first? We will pick on Mr. Kenko, who looks straight out of the 1980s adverts. Adam. Okay. D- that's because we started and I told him I've just pumped my colour up a little bit because I was completely flushed out. So, yeah, I do look like I've been on holiday. Uh, but if I turn my head too much, you'll see the, the shimmer. I've got I, I was shimmer. actually more I'm worried about the shit as well. It does look rather 80s. This is, this is retro. It's, uh, it's got Space Invaders on it. Ah, is it? Yeah, he's looking very Kemp, isn't he? Martin yeah. Kemp, yeah, yeah. Pandal Panley. I actually did. I did say he did look like he could. He could be an hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is this? Pick on Adam straight away. <laughs> <laughs> We've all just opened the bloody show. That. Where have you, you been on your holidays? Try to home and away. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little off of the top, sir. <laughs> um, so, so doing an handstand. <laughs> I don't. I don't. If I handstand, it'll all come out. My hair transplant's been done. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this this week, I am on the uh, Desire Designs Rage Squonker, a known boy OC uh, with the Dead Rabbit SQ again. Uh, in that, I've got some Rainbow Chews by Game On Juice. Now this stuff is skills, absolutely oh. bang on skills. And you know how normally people say a skittles, but it's got that sort of just mushed up, muddledy fruit yeah, kind of thing. F- fruit Whereas, my, yeah. Yeah. Whereas when you have skittles, you get the the sort of citrus twist on the end. Yeah. That's what that's got, and that oh. that's in two things because that's that's my one matchy matchy. Although the the silver top cap for the SQ is I've got red drip tip red. I've got matchy matchy all round actually. I've got the uh, profile unity tank. That's a the, fucking hideous mod. That is the EH Pro. <laughs> I remember when you got that. Yeah. Ah. Do, do you know what? I tried to nick this first. You did, yeah. The you did, uh, when, um, what was his name? Rick Winston. Rick Winston, who used to work for EH Pro. Was it Jason? It was Jason. Yeah, Jason. I'd, I'd been speaking to Jason for quite a while. Jason Deng. That was his name. Because he went on to do... Uh, yeah, he was the old yes, head of marketing for EH Pro. Yes. So I, uh, I'd been speaking to him for a while and it, it told me about this, uh, this, this idea that they'd got for a mod and an RDTA called the Big Bear. Yeah. Now, the Big Bear was dreadful. It, its paint fell off on marks and stuff like that. I remember that. But when we were at Expo, they were releasing it at Expo. They didn't bring, he didn't bring any with him. He just brought a prototype. And I'd spoke to him like the week before, going, oh, "Make sure you bring me one because I like the look of them." They, they were battle starish. Hmm. What? Yeah, but what? can you remember? All all three of us were there at the same time. Yeah. And he dragged us into the booth and made us sit down round the table. It, it was the yeah. tiniest tent as well, right? <laughs> but see, and if you remember, they also because I'm a big lad. They made a, he wanted a photograph, but he's only really small. We had a photograph. And Did you grab your book? Sat in this little tiny tent, they had these like silver chairs. Like, we're all right for Mark, he fit in between me and Adam, but we're all scrunched up in this fucking little yeah. tiny tent like this. So I turned around to him, I went, have you brought me one? You said you were bringing me one. He went, no, no, all I've got is prototypes. I went, oh, don't worry, I'll just take a prototype with me. Oh, for and he went, <laughs> I've already, he goes, I've already sent it out. And I'm going, oh no, I'll just take the, don't worry about it. Don't send me package one, I'll, I'll just take this out. So it, it was the EH Pro Fusion 2, I think it was yep. called. Um, and it's got separate wattage for separate side of the RDTA. Double vapor. Obviously didn't, obviously didn't catch Double. on. The, the thing with it as well is it was uh, reload shaped, but only dual battery. So the yep. chip must be that thick on the front. Um, but I've got the profile <clears throat> Unity on top with my matchy match drip tip uh, and mod, so black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, and in that, I've got the rainbow chew. And then finally, I've got the Yee Hee uh, sticking mod. 
uh, with the Hellvape, Mike Bates, Rebirth RTA. And in that, I've got some uh, fresh burst, which is lemonade. And it's like fizzy lemon sherbet rather than lemonade. But it's really, really, really nice. And that was Adam. Master right, we're all done now. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Um, it's been a wonderful show. Oh, these guys have got new stuff, though, so you're just showing off. <laughs> Mr. Eden of the little bro who vapes. I just want to say big sorry to Lee Armitage out there. I totally forgot about today, brother, but we will sort it out tomorrow. I am on... We'll do this really quick. I'll, I'll sit up as well for this. Oh, uh, I'm on the now. I Breathe um, X-Ro disposable pod. That reveal will be coming out soon. We have got the um, Nautilus Prime X um, with some Cornish e-liquid in there. This is the orange, lemon, and grapefruit. That is really, really, really nice. We have then got the, I'm on the V sticking as well with the Valerian, with the Valerian two tank, which is kicking some clouds with some OK orange. This is the orange and uh, apricot. That is really, really nice. We've then got the from Aspire the the Favo stick. Oh, the the pod kit with variable wattage. Yep. Uh, which makes a buzzing noise like the Winx. Um, with also got sent these out by Vaping Style, which is Mrs. Flatcap's um, shop. Please get over there. Not Brilliant a sponsor. Bloke. Not a sponsor, yeah. Got salt, <laughs> peppermint in there. We've got the P Swag PX80 with there, some Rochford Project. We've got some Lemon Lush in there. We've got the review that's just come out, which is the Vupu Argus Pro. Uh, in there, I've got some Wild West Black Revolution. And last but not least, we've got the Vertex from Elvape with the Tech Mod, which I'm absolutely loving, with some true juice in it. We're gonna have call you got you... two sliding doors and a conveyor belt as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, a, and a cuddly teddy bear. Cuddly toy. Can't can't forget the cuddly toy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of fucking. Yeah, but stuff. I fitted all that stuff in. Is the time it took in? <laughs> <laughs> we had to tell the story of the EH Pro. Uh... <laughs> That was Aidan of the Little Bro Who Vapes. Moving on to our wonderful guest, Mr. Mark of the Soliomies. I'm going to keep it right simple. I've got the Arbiter from the XO. In that, I've got to... The Arbiter. Custard. You've got to pronounce it properly. It's the Arbiter. Arbiter. <laughs> Arbiter. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to bring Pudding because he's not here. So he's he thinks it's called the Arbiter. The Arbiter. Well, yeah, if you want to call it the Arbiter, yeah. I'm, I'm up for that one. I mean, that with the kangaroo custard, with the uh, cookie cake. Oh, I have not stopped vaping that one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Also got the Ursa or Urus. You want to call it Urus? It's Ursa. And in Ursa. that, I've got Dragon Berry from them guys. From uh, <laughs> Are you not going to say who, the, who it is? <laughs> <laughs> Furious flavors, <laughs> dragonberry. <laughs> um, and are, they, are, they, are they quite like a ferocious sort of taste? <laughs> Very ferocious. <laughs> okay, now he's not fake famous. Now he's renaming brand. He just don't care. <laughs> Before you know, he's going to be calling him Uliwell. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember you're on about renaming stuff, and I've left it up there. One of my first ever videos I did uh, was uh, for an RDA for Watofo, and I kept on calling it Watofo. Watofo. <laughs> A few people actually did that. Watofo. Watofo. Yeah. People actually did that. Smoke, smoke, Watto. I'm also on the swag as well, that new one that they've done. In that, I've got uh, Tropical Fury from uh, Punk. Well, Riot Squad. And that's that it, was, that's all I'm on. That was Mark, <laughs> Mr. Soliomi. It's most of the usual setup. Cog, which I'm retiring next week in favour of another mouth to lung tank, because I've been using this for fucking ages now. And I think Matt I, I think Matt's got his money's off out of me doing it. Fucking buy it. I think can you still buy the cog? Yeah, you can still get it. Yeah, ah, I thought so. Good little tank though. Mono SQ, I have got the Kelpie with Peach Custard on a Q Mini, and I've got the Kylan V2. With the thel Thelma. Thel Thelma? Thelma. It's Thelma, but they spelt it wrong. I'm thinking that's what they've done, but they've got it in the Lost Vape. Thelma with the rather nice orangey red uh, battery door thing there. And yeah, they're bringing a tank out called Louise. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is it? Deliman Louis. C frame mods coming back. What I don't know. It? I don't know. Oh, and I'm on the Guinness. And this was oh, yeah. a Christmas <laughs> present from Flat Cat. It's not like I've sucked on with Louise. We're lovely. Hi, Becky. <laughs> I think we're all on alcohol tonight, aren't we? By no, the way, I... some of you who are in chat, some of you may be getting issues with YouTube chat freezing and then speeding up. It's it's happening to a number of servers on YouTube, but it's not happening to all the servers. So some of you will have normal chat. Some of you will look as if chat has freezed. Don't worry, it will eventually catch up. It's just YouTube being YouTube. Yeah. He's, we were doing on our show just a little, an hour ago. I'm taking this off. It's fucking roasting. How the fuck can people wear these indoors? I'm just waiting for you for a game of golf. <laughs> fucking sweating. Good old walk around St. Andrews. <laughs> it's too fucking expensive, St. Andrews. Royal Trunes. He was going to say walk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking expensive to walk. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Get a buggy. <laughs> Get a buggy. Damn right. I think we're all on alcohol tonight, aren't we, did I say? You did. Except for me. Are you not? What, you're no, not? I've got a coffee and me coke. Coffee and a coke? Coffee and coke. What are you on tonight, Aidan? Guinness. I'm on, on the Guinness. He's on the same as me. can. In the, well, yeah. I, I need to have that extra rat piss sort of taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dad always said to me. I don't I don't drink it because you never know who's weed on top of it. Saying that, did you see that face someone put up on Facebook that then he had it in his lip and he was like a worm? Ooh. Yeah. I'm not drinking. And by all accounts, on cans, it the larvae actually sits in the can and they're that small you can't you can hardly detect them. And they actually what they do, they bury themselves into your lip. Oh yeah, that were ace. Oh, Honestly, you like a maggot <laughs> coming out of his lip. <laughs> Thank fuck and these two are drinking that glass Guinness. then. Jesus fuck. I can see yours wiggling, Vic. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, apparently no. you're going to do me. I, I did you, didn't I? I think you said on your WhatsApp. I was watching the WhatsApp and I absolutely creased. Yeah. Because you came out and you went, Adam did me. Yeah. I've done it That'd again. be fun because he's it's, 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 it's little, is it's Harvey. So I could just. I'm not that him. little. You're taller than me. You're little. To, well, you're you are little. taller than me. Yeah, you're, tall, you're, <laughs> you're third tallest one here. The best thing about that as well, he's got one of them slidey things, you know, for his camera. You could just sit him on that angle from side to side. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd make bring a whole new mini to B-roll, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna have a drink then, but that we're gonna come straight. Hell, yeah, look at that five ten. Been all of it, camera that. <laughs> I'd have spat that straight out. Yeah. So I, I'll it. tell you something, right? I was really, really looking forward to tonight, and I still am. I'm not. That's not. A, I was really looking forward to tonight, but. Um, but. <laughs> but it, it's it's absolutely lovely to have you on here, Mark. Absolutely lovely. I wanna I wanna congratulate yourself. Uh, congratulate yourself. I wanna congratulate you because the Home Service Live is is just a cracking cracking show. Really good Thank show. You. That is a good it's show. Something, something you should be incredibly proud of. And and I think as weeks have gone by, it's just getting better and better. And please remember, people out there in chat, before us, they're on. So go and check them out before us. Yeah, yeah we start off for seven. We always fluff the show. We always fluff it. We, we, we floof. <laughs> floof. Floof. <laughs> Irish, shut up. Oh, mine's not caught up. I'm on that I'm on that laggy chat. So mine ain't caught up yet. Vic's first car was a rollerblade with an RC car engine rigged up. Thanks, Irish. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> this is his... This is his... Uh... <laughs> For fuck's sake. That's his transport to Expo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if anyone wants to know what's in my drawers <laughs> Billy and, and, and if you want to go and check out the actual channel it's called Farming with Vic <laughs> yeah, or, <laughs> or we'll just deliver him Amazon style Ooh, Ooh. Mini drawing uh, Yeah see They're my little lads Have you ever thought about that getting any like figures done Vic you know like wobbly heads or something like that Bobbleheads and snar wobble. they cost too much Get your own wobbly Vic yeah, but they cost too much. The, the, the initial outlay for those bobbleheads are a fucking fortune. Yeah, but they'd be life size. <laughs> fucking right there. 
Just think if you couldn't be asked to do your reviews, you could just do a little, just stick it there, wobble its head a little bit, <laughs> and then yeah, just put a voice over. Yeah. <laughs> See it on the table. And today we're taking it's a tank reveal. <laughs> wow, there's a, there, there, there's a name from Vapors.tv that I haven't seen for a long time. How you doing, DC? Been a while. Been a long while. Like I said, my I'm on that um, slow chat, so I'm not ignoring anyone. If, yeah, if mine's is hello. stopping and starting quite a bit. It looks like it's going to be like that all the way through the fucking show, which is going yeah, to be annoying. It's like going and then going up into it. We will try our best. We also did have a, a donation from the wonderful Viking Vapor as well for 20 knocks, I think it was. Cheers, Viking. You're a star. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Hi, everyone. So. Got a Trump bobblehead from USA. Dion did. China. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> what for that? That's what he does with his hands, China. If you Fake watch news. him, he does this with Fake his hands. News. Uh, hi Lee. By the way, I, I, I want to give Lee a bit of a shout out because I I discovered Mr Armitage's uh, YouTube channel the other day, and the guy can shred like a hero. Absolutely. Yeah, he's really love. He's lovely, and his wife Lisa, really nice. So he followed me on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh, who's this guy?" Because uh, there's been an influx of followers on Twitter in a minute, and I'm like, oh, "Who's this guy?" And dropped onto his YouTube channel, and the guy can shred, absolutely shred. You know when I did all we he'd been following my channel for for a while and then when I did the um, the Stop October I, I met his his partner as well Lisa they, they both just followed me all the way through it they've been really good friends really nice people really nice people get so, over there and check his channel out he's just at his one k I think yeah so I I got a message from Geek Vape don't tell him till the end no breaking news. <laughs> Don't tell them what to, you've confused me now, Aiden. What? <laughs> well, if they don't think there's a giveaway, they'll all leave. Oh no, there's a giveaway. It's just not a geek vape giveaway. All right. Ooh. <clears throat> but and apparently, 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 the span, the the, the, the sparsel? What the fuck? I've only <laughs> not even had a pint yet. The sparsel. That's the brain worms. What the fuck's a sparsel? <laughs> sparsel. <laughs> the parcel. That was it. The sponsorship parcel actually got returned. And it wasn't DHL that shipped it. It was UPS. I've Ooh. never really heard of UPS either. I know there's a lot of issues. I know there's a lot of issues with uh, deliveries of stuff issues. minute. Well, by all accounts, according to Betty, on, he told us on a live on show just a, a bit ago um, that UPS are not allowing uh, shipment now. In the United States. In the United States. Yeah. And we yeah, were talking awesome about that, saying, will that affect the UK? It shouldn't. It shouldn't, but sometimes companies like that make a worldwide policy, don't they? Yeah. You'll find though that the UK one is run different to the one that's in the US. Um, if you if you're shipping from the US to the UK, that might be different. But if you're actually just shipping uh, like in Ireland, like the UK, you'd be yeah. you'd be fine. Yeah, I think from what I remember, UPS's UK and Northern Europe headquarters is in Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, I think. I'm sure it's there. I'm not sure. I think it's in Ireland. It's something that obviously they're, they're in a lot of dire straits over there because of the, their actual own postal service now will not ship any... Um, from March, you'll not ship anything. They're fucked, basically. They're fucked. That's mm -hmm. what it comes down to. They're fucked. And here's the way I was looking at this, right? A lot of these reviewers, the last leg of the delivery, if it's not sent via DHL, which a lot aren't, the last leg of the delivery for reviewers is USP, the United States Postal Service. What the hell are the reviewers going to do over there if they can't get the items sent to them? Hmm? Uh, Dean just said um, the FedEx sent a uh, pending payment to a debt collector over £12. £12 quid? I've just I've had two arguments with them. You see, my, my argument is is if they, I get plenty of I get plenty of packages, uh, I get packages. But if they drop them off and they don't tell me anything about them, how am I supposed to know? Exactly. So yeah. the bloke says, "Well, you can give me them back." I says, "Well, they're sampled. So when I've done a review for them, I've destroyed them." That's what that's what I say to UPS, and it's like yeah. it's like fucking big G, big G, yeah, big G's ace, big love, big G. I was a guest in Big G's brand new show yesterday. It was a rather, it was a, it was a very laid back show, until I got all ranty about politics and shit. Yeah, that was fun towards the end, wasn't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I haven't watched it back. I, I once you shared the stream out last night, I did go and subscribe, and I have got it on my uh, watch later list. So Big G is one of the funniest people. Here. Me and him have got the same sort of sense of humour. He's oh, just fuck. a funny guy. And um, he makes damn good coils. Yeah, and he's a damn good bloke and all. Love exactly, him. Matt. UPS pronounced. Whoops. <laughs> I, I I really hope you don't mind me uh, butting in a little bit, but I had a little idea last night, and it. it it was only a little one because uh, Aiden had. Uh, we're only a little one. We're only a little one. It, 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 it sort of it entitles some content, and and you, I, I know you three very well, and obviously we're we're, we're part and parcel of, of the vape scene in the UK. So one thing that made me think last night is I watched the first half of Aiden's live stream, and he had uh, missed the mags on. Now, back in the day. Mr. Mags made the Forbidden Flavours. Yeah. And it got me thinking, it really, really got me thinking that there's a lot of companies that have come and gone and, and, and a lot of really, really good companies that have come and gone. If there's one company out there that you've seen go and you would love for them to come back, who would it be? Anon. Anon? Yeah, Anon. Because I missed their limo. I, I, do you know what? That was the first thing that you showed me at Expo. You were like, "Come on, we're going to Anon. You're gonna, you're gonna try their limo." And I were like, "Yes, come on." Mark's raving about this juice, and they went, "No, sorry, we're not making it anymore." That company <laughs> there. Now I recognise it. Yeah, they are I really good. I thought you were doing something off with um, what do we call it? Good Morning Vietnam. Hanoi, Hanoi. Who <laughs> <laughs> was that there in the jungle? And we're uh... <laughs> Hanoi, Hanoi. <laughs> Kanga Tech. School bus. Kanga Tech, Tech are still Tech. around. Kanga Tech is still going. School bus. Kanga Tech of old, the sub tank mini was one of the first sub ohm tanks I'd ever used, and I remember going to a 0.5 ohm coil from a 1.2. Kanga Tech are manufacturing other stuff for other people. <clears throat> like the the Eno Vap that was made by Kanga Tech. If you vape, if you vape on a U well, an Aspire, not the Nautilus. But an Aspire coil, not the Nautilus. If you vape in a U well tank, an Aspire tank, if you vape on smock sometimes, the odds are you're probably vaping on a coil that was actually manufactured by Kanger Tech as an OEM coil. I'll, I'll tell you something. They used to know how to do coils as well back then. I, 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 it's one of them companies that you've seen become so big. I, I, you were talking last night about the innovation between then and now. Yeah. And, and the, the quality control now is second to none. I don't care what anyone says, actually, second to none. Is, yeah. when, when you think of like... Well, unless you send one by Yacht Vape to, uh, what do you call it, and it's got no ports in it. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> See, that the back is, in the day, I mean, when I first started vaping, I were on both cartomizers. You buy a pack of five and you were lucky if two worked all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Lucky. But then we had, yeah. The mid we had the middle area as well, didn't we? We had like Smock and the Alien 220. When that, <clears throat> the moment you picked it up, the paint all the fell paint off started flaking off <laughs> instantly. Instantly, I remember picking one up right, and I picked it up, and I went, "Oh, that's really, really nice." It was the uh, blue and black one, and I went, "Oh, that's really, really oh shit!" <laughs> paint had literally flaked off, and I'd not scratched it or anything like that. But honestly, I, when we were when you were talking about forbidden flavors last night, Sensei's morning tea. I know a lot of people that was a good juice. Sensei's morning like, tea. I like that. Yep. The Tom Max. I don't know if I, I don't know if I can tell you about it, but he, 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 he's done. I, I don't know if he'd let, let me tell you, but he, I'll tell you all later about that. But it's quite sad to what happened with that. But it's it, the thing is, back then he was the Rochford project. Back then, mm. he he was the Forbidden Flavors when they came out. Yeah, he was the he, big. He, he was yeah, yeah, he was. He mentioned you, Vic, when he said that you obviously you didn't like menthol at the time. Still hate menthol. Why? It's horrible. It's not. It is. Fucking all is. Mental. But uh, all the it, mental, it all the think... mental, all all the mental, all the fucking crystals to do with mental. Anything to do with mental, bundled up into a fucking huge bag, shoved into a fucking helicopter, then thrown into the mouth of an active volcano, and just to fucking make sure the bastards all fucking bummed. Wait till the fucking volcano's dead. Pick up all the ashes, shove it in a fucking concrete block, and throw it in the Beaufort's dike just to make fucking sure. That's how much I hate mental. So can we just get this right then? You don't really like mental then? No, yeah. I don't like mental. <laughs> I thought I, it, 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 I've got to ask though what what do you think to what these ice juices then 
It depends how they do it. Right, I've I've came across some ice vapes. You know you know the ice cream headaches that you get? It's that cold that the feeling of coolness is verging on the verging on just a fucking nasty fucking cold sensation in the back. If it's oh, just if it's just a tiny drop. Just something to cool up the airwaves. I'm mm. fine with that. But a lot yeah. of these companies go fucking overboard with it. Yeah, way overboard. <laughs> that, that was, obviously, that that was the, um, what's it called? The Malaysia influence yeah. that we had a few years ago. Yeah. The I'll, tell, I'll tell you what, the Cornish e-liquid company did uh, lemon iced. And it was just like an ice lolly. You know the cheaper ones where you used to could suck it and then, or you could just, it was really, really nice. And this company as well, Wilder West, they're doing some right. They sent me What just else do you do with a lolly? What him? What else do you do with a lolly? Well, you I can like actually it. bite them. <laughs> actually, I usually bite oh. them as well. I, I can, I well, can chew okay. on him. So you there you go, on. people. You didn't know that, but me and Aiden are both biters. <laughs> 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 I'm nervous because obviously, uh, apparently at Expo, I've got to get a face full of sausage. What? Well, you've had banana, haven't you, bro? I've had, had really had banana. <laughs> that, that story is really good. It, it, first time we'd all actually met. Obviously, I've met my brother before, but I hadn't met Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't met Adam, and we're all still there. Mark goes, go on, suck that banana. I went, fuck off, you suck it. So he went and did it. <laughs> so that's why you've got it where Mark's down there. I'm laughing, and Adam's holding that banana. Aiden were trying to be all cool and he's like, ah, I'm not fucking Fuck getting off, down I'm not there. sucking that banana. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would I get down there and chew that banana? <laughs> Aiden's like, and Mark's like, go on, Aiden, just get down. It's all right. <laughs> Think about if it. you're not going to fucking do it, I'll do it like a man. <laughs> I could quite understand the bit where he went down and did the banana, but it wouldn't start moving your balls around like Guinevere. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just friendly. That's friendly. <laughs> You should have seen Bunny's face. I'll tell you something. I, it does, and, and well, retro vape TV. Uh, the nostalgia that came from everyone's show at minute is is just because you're speaking about old times, and because I'm a million years out of it, and and don't hang up with the new stuff and and anything like that. That. To hear everyone talking about it with massive nostalgia is is just I love it. I love it. Forbidden flavors. Honestly, I wanted to order some last night. There were so many people rasping. Uh, it was in chat. There were so many people who were just going, "Look, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back." Um, but there's a story behind that, and I, I'm, I'm sure eventually we're probably getting back. Or, or, or we'll get him on this show, so I'll let him oh, yeah, tell we'll the story him. of that. I'll we'll have wanna... him in this show once he's settled in and got, yeah. got all the business up and run. Yep. But well, it's, it's, it's the, the reckless company. He's, he's been going. He's, he's been going for about a year and a bit now. Has he? Yeah. I didn't know he was going that long. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Well, I, I, I tell you, it just makes you think. I, I tried a, I tried a company really early on called, and I, I butcher it every single time. It was called Celtic Vapors, from uh, America, and they were amazing juices. But I know for a fact that they went out of, out of business like a few years ago. Yeah, that's what made that's what made me think about it because you, you, we've seen all these companies and obviously we've seen it more more recently with EH Pro and I, I think Blitz are on the way out as well and and, and Blitz this, this, are in the process of being taken over. They're going to artery, aren't they, or something? But well, artery. That's what I heard. They're going to artery. Yeah, yeah artery's so, having problems as well, though, aren't they? But, the, but well, artery it. was owned by EH Pro. When EH Pro yeah. went down, they almost took artery with them. Yeah, but we we've seen it. Did you flavor? came out and i hadn't seen a digi flavor product for they, they just now. released one about um about two months ago yeah a little starter kit but they're part yeah. of geek vape and the way oh. that oh jesus paul evening guys sorry not been around much been really ill plus had to have 11 teeth out and they kept me awake they kept me awake as well actually for that the sadomasochist hope you're all good and nice to see you retro good to be back i hope you feel Cheers, better paul. soon paul having all those teeth out in one goal i've been yeah. down that road it's not nice I had Unless one you like Bill Murray from Little Shop of Horror. First lockdown, that were fun. Mm. And yeah, I remember lockdown, that. It were a nightmare trying to get to a dentist. You couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't. Um, the local dentist here, they were my local dentist. They wouldn't have no to do with me. So I rang uh, Bortry, which is sort of like five miles away, little town. That guy helped me out, and I ended up having to go to Retford 
to actually get my, t- my tooth pulled because what had happened was I was brushing my teeth like normal, do 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 do, and my door was wide banged open. Oh! And what happened was, as the door hit my elbow, you I took half it. the skin off, oh. my gum, and then my tooth dropped down. Oh, nice. oh no, no. Ouch. Maybe if he wasn't going do 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 he wants to yeah. <laughs> Don't sing while you're doing that. The thing is, though, I either thought going do 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 would make someone else realise that someone was in the bathroom brushing the teeth. But oh. obviously not. Give paper, I'm not getting the carrot out. The thing is, it's when he's going do 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 was you getting excited there? I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I don't. I didn't know how you could do that at the same time and go, dude, because your tongue's a little bit busy, isn't it? I mean, when you're brushing <laughs> your teeth, you've never obviously. asked your wife to hum. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to that, Jackie. <laughs> and welcome to Last of the Summer Beats. <laughs> yeah, you've got to, we're past nine o'clock. You can say fuck bugger and shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, baby shark, do, 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 don't even start that, Mr. Poison. It's in my head now. But as long as you can up it, um it, I don't mind. <laughs> um, Vic, just to let you know, I don't think I've seen Nightbot at all. Night, Nightbot's on, but I think because chat's fucking up, Nightbot can't lock into chat. But he's on, he's switched on. So, it is, uh, it is Hoppers 9. I is do it? believe it is time for Caster's Question. I so it is. Hold on, I'm going to pull myself a Guinness first. That's it, you don't want worms. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. How on all of them? Maybe I can lose some weight. See, there we go. There's your vaping content, people, right there. Is there actually ah. you, uh, vape juice, do you think? What? Drop it on a dripper. Guinness on a dripper. Ooh, no. No. You don't want warm tasting get Oh, God, no, that'd be fucking horrible. I, t- I bet you, I bet you, out there, there will be a Guinness flavoured juice. There is well, a flavoured juice. Well, there's bacon, there's bound to be a Guinness flavoured juice somewhere. Mm-hmm. Guarantee it. Do it, you're an absolute star, buddy. Thank you so much. Right. Caster's questions. Caster's questions are questions taken from the Caster's questions section. There's my in wife the... in chat. And the hello, hello, uh, hello, Jackie. Almost <laughs> forgot your name there. Hello, Jackie. <laughs> Good reading then, babe. Good readings like that. Which one? Which one? What's which the name? One, which, one? <laughs> <laughs> which one's humming? <laughs> this is one about three, one down. Going. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. So the first question. Oh, guess who? It's Mr. Chris Norman, better known as Chunk. And it's a vape-related question as well. Ooh. Ooh. If you could tweak one mod to take a different size of battery, which one would it be? For instance, the drag takes 21700s or Lustro taking 21700s or maybe a single battery mod you really like. For example, a Drag X. So if you could take a mod and change its battery size, which mod would it be? I think we all said that all mods that nowadays. I'm going to say all of them. Twenty one seven hundred. I I did see that the other day that like even though we now have twenty one seven hundreds which really looked like they were taking over and twenty seven hundreds sort of fell back to the wayside, but twenty one seven hundreds really started to take off. Yet yeah, all manufacturers are now well, just about all. Are, Thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> From MythBusters. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. <laughs> and <laughs> to be fair, Vic does look a bit like Jamie Heineman. Um, but every every mod is coming out as an eighteen six fifty rather mm. than a twenty one seven hundred with an adapter. So they should all be twenty one seven hundred with adapters. Yeah, you're getting you're getting stuff like this. That that, that should really um, be a twenty one seven hundred. It should yeah. be. Because it's big well, enough. This, this one's got an in, in, inbuilt battery, but you've got the uh, you've got the uh, like swag. Egg. Swag, why ain't that a twenty one seven hundred? That yeah, can easily be a twenty one seven hundred. Easily. Easy. I, I think the twenty one seven hundred is bigger than the actual. Ne- Sorry, sir. They could just raise the battery cap up a bit, or lower the base down. We need a mil, two mil. 
I don't think these sort of ones are built like it for it, but this, it was like they did the Pro, um, the Geek Vape um, Boost Pro, didn't they? Mm, yeah. Where that that could have fit it. And also we did the Solo, or the, you know the two-in-one that did the Swank? That that were like literally mill off that could have fitted a 21700. Easily. Mm. Yeah, they could have. Especially when you think about it, 21700s were designed for vaping, whereas an yeah. 18650 was designed for torches. Torches, and, yeah. Electric cars. Like that. And... How are you doing, Red? They, they tried to veer away from the. I mean, you had uh, Sony. They decided that they weren't selling batteries for vaping. LG. Um, LG decided to do it as well, and they say, "Hey, look, use twenty one seven hundreds because that is designed for vaping." Yeah. Yeah. But the manufacturers are going down the eighteen six fifty route, which. I think one of the biggest reasons is a lot of a lot of people like we're hobbyists. So yeah. if we see if we see a mod, and a lot of people in chat are hobbyists as well, that's why they're watching. But we see a mod that's good, that's got a good chip, good board, and it's got twenty one seven hundreds. If we don't have twenty one seven hundred batteries, we'll go to Fogstar and fucking buy them. Mm. But the vast majority of people who walk into VPZ and good buy a smock like, mod, been, they've all got eighteen six fifties, and they don't want to buy new batteries. They want to keep using those batteries until those batteries are fucking dead. And that's mm. why Smock, even with the Morph 2, which is a damn good mod, they stick with 18650s yeah. because that's what the vast majority of people have on their shelf. Uh, the thing well, is, it's a, it, ain't it though, the chicken and the egg, though, with this one? Yeah. Because surely companies could phase out 18650 mods. With an adapter. The thing is, you can, you can bring you any... Could, yeah. any 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 out. I mean, look at the well. You've got the Aegis and every other mod that came out with an adapter. It doesn't it doesn't take much to just throw a, an adapter. a little rubber grommet or mm. a, a rubbing cock, rubber cock ring in there or something like that. Just to... <laughs> but like I was saying though, <laughs> I've been by the box. The whole reason for twenty one seven hundreds was they was designed for vaping. They could yeah. handle the ampage. No, you, to hamp handle the ampage and all that lot. Like, it was so sort of like to veer you away from 18650s. So uh, over, the, over the period of time, they could have eased it out that way. Have. I think as well is if it, you could still keep the 18650s, but for single battery mods or people who are uh, doing math to love, yeah, something small in that. Wattage. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Nemesis Systemic, right, has just said, friend overheard me watching y'all and thought I was watching Are You Being Served? I'm free. I was just about to do that, but I'm glad you did because that's a little bit high pitched. <laughs> I don't know, but we need to get me. Where's my pussy gone? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Slocum. Fucking love Mrs. Slocum. I uh, bet you would. <laughs> Nemi, Nemi, I, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Nemi Systemic. You could do well for a blue rinse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck <laughs> oh, Last what? time I, w I, I were at Molly Sugden's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now, the last time I was with her, I met a toes girl, but I didn't take a tights off. <laughs> I'm here all week, do try the fish. So that was a good question, Chunk. Next one. This will be a quick one. Ingvar, oh Jesus fuck. Ingvar, Merstuin Loken. Is it Maria? Oh, fucked it, what? <laughs> Are they Maria? No. Ingvar, 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 ask, ask that. I'll do. What would you like more, whiskey or aqua vitae when you have a cold? Whiskey and not a toddy, just straight. Don't, I don't get this hot toddy stuff. Getting a yeah. good fucking single oh, I can think it's the same as you. What's aqua vita? I thought you put fucking cheese on that. Aqua yeah. vita. I think aqua vita is a, a, a Netherlandish, Danish based brandy or something. I think it's a they strong. I think it's a strong brandy, aqua vita, from right, what I remember. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be mega boring. Night nurse. <laughs> oh, no. Night, night, night nurse. See, see if I have night nurse. I am knocked <clears throat> out for the entire Thank next fuck day. Fuck for that. Nemesis Systemic has, oh. is, has said his name's Craig, and I'm glad about that because I was trying to... He, sa he said to me, he, he commented on one of my videos, and he said, I need to take this video down. I need to stop watching it. And I says to my wife, I went, nem, 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 nem. yeah, this guy's commented on my video. <laughs> so Craig will do. Cheers, pal. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you when you got a cold, I don't want anything alcoholic. I just want to just sit there and cry. Yeah, half a bottle of whiskey, burn the fucker out. Uh, to be fair, I I would I I'm. I'm you know, so I sit there rocking, asking for my mum. <laughs> <laughs> 
my wife will agree with this, right? I'm one of them people that will sit there and go, oh, no, no, no. And then she'll go, are you all right? And I'll go, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> and then she'll go, why don't you sit down and rest? And I'll go, <laughs> but I'll just get up and do this, and then she'll go, you're the fucking worst patient in the world. <laughs> so I'm not an alcohol guy when I've got a cold. I'll just no, try not. and mine it out, but I'll be a massive pussy as well. Whiskey. Yeah, I am. Whiskey. Good question, Ingvar. Next one. Oh, I watched the trailer for this, and it's it's going to be an interesting film. Gitesh, Godzilla or King Kong? Kong. Yeah, it's got to be a monkey. And, and if we're going to break monkey. into the movie... <laughs> If, if we're going to break into the movie, it's going to be neither of them that win. It's going to be both of them that win against Mechagodzilla anyway. See, that's what the rumour is. Mechagodzilla pops up. Yeah. yeah that's what the rumour is. Yep. So, but it's that trailer what... where fucking Kong just goes boof and they yep. cut it and they're like, oh, come on. And then he goes to twatting with his axe. <laughs> he stands there and goes like that. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> Monkey on the car. I've got yeah, to tell goes... you, I'm not a fan of either. <gasps> I'll tell you something. Skull Island was an incredible film. Oh yeah, he was good at film. But I'm good. not a Godzilla or King Kong fan. Never have been. I Did like you... the original. I love the original, one, but that's more for nostalgia reasons. What the old black and white ones? Yeah, yeah. that's more for nostalgia reasons. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll tell you something. If you, if you read into those films as well, and this is where I'm going to get a little bit teacher on your ass. Right. If you watch into them films and read into them films properly, then Godzilla is the um, Chinese you nuclear threat. on your ass. Yeah. The, the Chinese um, nuclear threat. Yeah. King Kong's the American nuclear threat. Rodon is... Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and Rodon is the uh, Russian nuclear threat. And that's yeah. where they all come from. Oh, so I'll call the police. I yeah, I knew, can, I knew I just, can I just ask you one thing though? Isn't this all fucking fiction? Hey, <laughs> Kong is real in the in the hollow earth. That's where thing. the nuclear threat came from. Fuck the Russians, honestly. It's that Godzilla. He does it every time. Exactly, hollow earth, <laughs> hollow earth for the win. Oh, I see Nightbots actually decides to wake up with a fucking alias command errors. Fuck off, Nightbot. <laughs> you can tell he's been off work since fucking March last year. Can't you? <laughs> I've been sat there like that. Hmm. Now what? The conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me I, know, I know Godzilla was nuclear because that's how he became Godzilla. Yeah. But King Kong, King Kong was before for that one, it surely. Yeah, but it's it's the metaphors for them. That's what it is. The me- what what the trying metaphor metaphor for King Kong? Yes. The no, oh, shut up. Let's not get intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was out once it once it out in 1920. I don't think they dropped yeah. a nuclear bomb by then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think they'd even split the atom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, next question. <laughs> I care about your two cameras, Aiden. <laughs> you really need him. <laughs> oh, okay. Moving I would have teacher on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> this I'd like ne- a short back in sides, please, son. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is from Ben Carnell. This is going to be an interesting one. Where do you think the next groundbreaking, in quotation marks, innovation will be with RTAs and RDAs, or have we reached the peak? Peak. I'm surprised you said that. Peak. I'm surprised I, you said I, that. I really think at the minute we've we've I, we've said this. We said this not last week, but the week before, and it's it's been a, a thing that's been going around at the minute. At the minute, I reckon there could be something around the corner, but it'll be as always. It'll be RDA first into an RTA, and just right at this moment in time, obviously the thing that needs uh, inventing has not been invented yet. But I know what Vic's going to say. It's going to reach its peak when his new tank comes out. No, I yeah. wasn't going to see that. I was, I was thinking about it, but I wasn't uh, going to no, see that. Sorry about Margaret. Um, I hope uh, your husband gets... For fuck's sake! So here's the thing. When the troll RDA came out, everyone thought, that's it, that's the peak. When the Geek Vape Griffin, the original Griffin, not the Griffin 25, the old yeah. Griffin 22 came out, everyone thought, that's it. 
that's the peak. When the Yugo, what? Not the I, not the Yugo. That's a car. When the I go W came out back Ooh. in 2015, everyone thought that's the peak. And Adam's right. This is the current peak, but we don't know because the innovation that's going to come hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, I, I think I think I, just at the minute, you you think of what we've got on the market now. We've got a mesh. For everything. 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 We have a, a single coil for everything. Uh, any kind of airflow, any kind of build deck, single coil is there. Dual coil, it's there. Deck's big enough to put four coils in, it's there. They, they, just right at this moment in time, we're just going to plateau for a little bit until someone goes, do you know what? This is brand new. You know, I'd, I'd like to see, obviously, we, we, we had that one where it did the vibrating, didn't it? Instead of a, a, a coil, it, what was it, what were they called? Oh, the coil? Usonic. Oh, the Sonic. Yeah, 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 the Usonic. I think maybe the, the line we, we need to look at is, uh, obviously, we've had ceramic coils and stuff like that, is maybe a new way, instead of using, like, your Canthal, your, your Nichrome, a new way of actually heating the e-liquid up. Well, let's face it, every vapour that we use every single one of them it doesn't matter what it is if it's a tank or it's an rda it uses exactly the same system yeah the actual vaping system Irish. of vaping has never changed hasn't changed and maybe this is what we need to look at is is maybe looking at a different way of, of that e-liquid um being vaporized hmm? I, to be fair daryl's right out with a 510 in with magnets i think i think there's a lot of innovation in uh, the way that you connect your tank, RDA, pod, uh, or anything like that to your mod. And I think uh, I think Lost Vape have done it very, very well with the Ursa and stuff like that. That that connection's solid enough to hold it on, like like the 510 was. I mean, when you think about the 510, we've got, <clears throat> we've got things that go all the way back, 510. Oh, that's the old uh, Eagle uh, style. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's been, it's been stuck in there. We've had beauty rings and everything else, and it's been stuck at that. Vic, Vic. 901s. Uh, yeah, God, 901s. The 901s, the, eight, the, the, eight, the 808, 808 Ds. Fuck, there was yeah, that yeah. many connections. And, th and then all of a sudden, 510 came in and 510 stuck. So I think that that could be an area that... that and, and there are companies out there, like I said, that Lost Vape, they've done it so, so well with the way that it connects in and it stays. We, we had magnets ages ago that were just too flimsy. Now... We're getting there to a point where. Do you, do you know? I, I've always thought about a connection. You know, uh, it might have already been done. You know, like your camera, you get them um, ports at the top to put your lights on or your microphone where it slides underneath. Mm -hmm. Hot shoe. Yeah, could you not right. do something like that where they just slide it on and then it, it, it sort of like clicks into place? That would be more That's secure, actually. It's a much mm -hmm. more solid connection if it slides in. Like <laughs> you, like what shoe. was that mod that used to do that with batteries? Oh, remember it used to slide on. You could either yeah. have different colours on either it side. Was, it was the Anakin disruptor. Yeah, the Anakin disruptor with the slide-on battery pack. Mm. That was a big failure for them. Actually, they never sold mm. that many of them. I thought it was a good mod. Though. Well, that is that is like a five ten or oh, like like a connection to actually put your your tank on. But it, you start getting into them parts, don't you? You know, like now um, Vapex has come out with the, they've got their own charging port. So you have yeah. to buy it from them. So if you then start changing the norm of like the 510 connection, then you're going to be t alienating everybody who's got a yeah, 510 yeah. tank, yeah. aren't you? So, but the um, it, it's the same, like I said, with the, the charger. It's all right having your own charger, but you can't then go, oh, shit, I've got loads of these USB-Cs and US, the normal ones. You can get any one of them anywhere, can't you? But if you've got to yeah. go and get it from them personally, it's not yeah. worth it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They they sort of draw a line. It's same as it's same as coils, isn't it? We're getting to a point where uniform coils are coming in, where you can use most coils for a few other things. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, let's face it. Most coils are PMPs now, aren't they? Yeah. The public. So, they are. They are. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing, especially for the consumer. Because half fair, the problems with him is when they were screwing him in too tight, and obviously. Lifting the O-rings and letting the 
and the, uh, mentioning the PMP coils and your, your GTXs, you sort of like your Vupus and your, your va Vapor SOs are now keeping the coils the same. Mm. It's not like I'm coming out with a new variant every five minutes, like Smock. Like Smock's exactly. just about to <laughs> smock it. <laughs> like smock. Yeah, you, you get, you're getting, you can go to it and it helps a bricks and mortar store because somebody who doesn't maybe a hobbyist like us who can go on online, they go into the store and they can yeah. pick the same coil up if they buy another device because they're still using it. Yeah, exactly. That was a but look question. how long it's took us to get round to that. That's the thing. Long time. Explain that. Aspire. Well, well the Nautilus must be one of the longest running BBC coils. Coil. We sell them by the bucket load. Yeah, the BV, and how, old the, are, how old are the old BVC coils? The BVC <laughs> coils were out when I started vaping seven years ago. Exactly. The old K1 tanks? Yeah. Yeah. Which they're still selling. The key mm, ones, they're still me, making me, them. My dad gets them all the time. Oh. Yeah. Good question. The next one is from someone called Gaz McFatcap. I wonder who that is. Thanks for the Guinness cap. He's dead to us, isn't he? He is dead, dead to, to us. us. Two. No, we love you. <laughs> solo. This is directed oh, towards Mark and Mark only. Oh. To Solo. If Vic, Aiden, Adam, and Pud had a fight, what would be their special moves and who would win? So think anime. <laughs> I don't have fucking know. <laughs> Are we talking like Street Fighter here? Probably, yeah, yeah Street Fighter. Uh, I don't get... <laughs> get over here! <laughs> I can't. I can't, I can't think of any because I don't play it like that. I don't play games like that. Um, Aiden does a cartwheel off at top rope, apparently. <laughs> fucking cartwheel? It's more like a roly poly. And Aiden doesn't get dizzy. I think uh, Vic would throw his, um, his pasties, Aiden would throw his empty bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I'd throw my handbag. He'll <laughs> definitely throw your handbag. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, vape dinner lady's pink one. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or his frisbee of death. Have you still I, got, I got the apron? <laughs> I haven't, no. I, lo I lost that when I moved out. I can't believe they made a fucking baseball cap with tart hey, on the front. Snapback snap back and all back in the day when everyone used to make a snap back. Tart, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've still got hundreds on him. So thanks, guys. You're still dead to uh, us. <clears throat> this next one is from Craig Hunter Campbell. Bearing in mind that most of the casters are over 35. I think we're all over 35. No, I'm not. I'm not you're, either. You're a little no, bit. No, I, no. I, do you know what? I'm over. I'm over thirty-five in two weeks. Close enough to over thirty-five. So this is Craig's question. Bearing in mind that most of the casters are over thirty-five, what sweet or chocolate bar would you bring back from your childhood? That's a good question. And I can answer mine's right now. They actually already brought it back. Cadbury's Whisper. Fucking Ooh, love that. Did they get a left? What? You've always been able to get a whisper. No, they stopped making it in the mid nineties, mid to late nineties. They stopped producing it for about five years. <clears throat> Blue smartest. Bestest, thank you. <laughs> I was also going to say Spangles, but if you go to some specialist candy websites, you can actually still buy the little little packets of Spangles yeah. boiled sweets. They're still making them. The original. The original smarties that got all of the e numbers in. <laughs> yeah. Um, not, not not these new smarties. Not these new smarties. The old the old smart. I I I consider it slightly um, beneficial that my mum and dad had split up because what what we used to do is go out with my dad and he'd go. My brother got really hyper off a of Ribena and I used to get hyper off a of smarties. And you know before we were going back to my mum's because they didn't like each other at the time. My dad would be like that. Why don't you have some Smarties, knowing full well that they were laced Wii numbers? And you just go, you'd be bouncing off up walls for days. <laughs> Not these fucking stupid little Smarties that you get now. You can eat a full tub and, and still be tired. Yeah, with the natural colourings and natural flair. Pash. Mm. That's what that bro, is. Bro, yeah. bro, bro, can I have a, a 20p um, chocolate? 
Oh god. Oh. Remember that? What's that? It was basically like Smarties, but it was like all crushed up and it was like yeah. just the dust of it. So but oh. you remember when you used to get 10 pence mix or anything, it was, they're in paper bags. Yeah, so when you, you walked into a sweet shop. Mouth. So in the end, you have to turn it shelves. around or you'd have paper in your mouth. What we'd do, we used to get a video, didn't we? Yeah. Get, you used to get the main video. I mean, I'm talking about VHS here. You used to get the main video and you used to get a you know, one half price. You used to get two films. We used to get two bags of that. <laughs> <laughs> Drink, watch it. My mum used to go to bed. My dad would be on nights. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sat there at whatever age, nine, ten, watching all the old horror B movies. You know? <laughs> Hammer House of Horror and that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, I always remember the first time I ever had a double decker. Oh, I love double deckers. I, I, oh, I, absolutely. My sister, we was in junior school, and my sister had broken knee in the actual school. So obviously uh, she went off to hospital. Well, my mum took me to go and see her. But obviously I was only little and double deckers had only just come out and I got threatened. and I got a double decker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck my sister who had to have a knee replacement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. Give me your double decker, son. You're all right. Paul Bancroft just put super sour jawbreakers. And oh, I've I got remember to admit, the old jawbreakers. The super sour stuff now is horrible. Is. Super sour stuff back then were grand. But now. You mean when nerds so came out, early 90s, nerds, they came from America, mm. but they had to take them off the shelf because they were all acid. Yeah. yeah. Burnt kids' yeah. mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cabana. Okay, you can keep your Turkish delight, it's minging. Oh, I love well, Turkish oh, delight. No, I like no, no, delight. no. The thing is, my you need. Wife to get... will be listening to this upstairs. Turkish mm. delight, right? My mum brought some back from. My mum goes to Turkey about a million times a year, and she brought some proper. Yeah, Turkish the real, the, the actual locum Turkish delight, yeah, not the, the chocolate proper... covered pish from fries. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, not the fries stuff that you buy the from real a stuff. She bought it. My two young children. Very, very grown up sweets. Don't get me. wrong wrong to mm. real to Turkish delight and I try I thought oh, it's a grown-up sweet is it well why is it a grown-up sweet <laughs> because of the flavor is not sweet. For the Turkish delight <laughs> I'll tell you something if you eat proper Turkish delight you'll be like ah fucking why are kids even wanting to eat that I, I did that parent thing that you do you know when you're at age where you're like right I'll just eat kids sweets and tell them it's gone off <laughs> that's what I decided to do right I, I always do it I, I just I, my daughter will go and find something, and I'll go, oh, I'm sorry, Doc, it went off. <laughs> and she'll go, oh, Dad, my sweets always go off, don't they? And I'll go, yeah, yeah. Well, so that's what, I tried it's this like, fucking... T it's like when the ice cream van plays his music, we tell the kids that means he's run out. <laughs> it's run out. <laughs> it's run out. Oh, he's played it oh, again. Oh, they only put music on when they've got none left. Well done. Hey, go and have one of your mums. Your mum can make it. Yeah. Cheap as chips. Sat down oh, there. Two, wait there. Bring it together. There you go. That's the stuff. Actual Turkish, Turkish delight. My wife's just brought it down, and I don't know why, because I've only left the foul bits in. That's the so stuff. So they're going to go back in cupboard, and my daughter well, let can me get, Let me get it up. Right, there was only eight pieces in it, and you've left four of them, the foul bits. <laughs> no, three and a half. Three and a half. He tried that and went, for that for an old Turkish delight. I went, oh, no. Put it back in. <laughs> That's like I'm getting halfway through a bargain bucket and saying I don't like fucking chicken. Exactly, I want to be one of them customers. <laughs> so that's... Take it back. I'm so, I don't like this, but you've eaten. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good question. Next one is from Gailey Bops. Rather interesting question. Back to vaping with this one, Gailey Bops. Gailey Bops. Gailey Bops. Oh, goals. With the current lockdown and COVID situation seemingly going to carry on, how would you all adapt an expo to make it possible? And would you feel safe doing so? I think we should actually get human condoms. I was going to say bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, human, human condoms. condoms like so you just like roll it all over you. We, we like arm holes and then you can all go around. I don't like know whether naked was, gun. I don't know whether it was in this country or it was in America. They did a concert, um, a live concert, and all of them, you know them Zoom balls? Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. I suppose you couldn't really try much, though, could you? But then again, you can't really when you've got a condom on. So... <laughs> if, uh, if you remember, I think it was Naked Gun Two and a Half. He put, he, she goes, "Have you got any protection?" 
And he goes, yeah, I have. And pulls one over himself. Standing there. <laughs> <laughs> but if, in, in all seriousness, you, I, I don't want to be all political here because that's Vic's stance. And I don't... I so it's gone from a human smart. condom to political. <laughs> <laughs> but, right... We got. Oh, don't tell me we're fucking a part of the eclipse. No, we've got fucking Norris walking up to Scotland to go and have a look around on a necessary uh, yeah. political journey. He's only just left Coronation Street. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> if you go to if you go to a, an expo, right? Apparently, kids aren't allowed to sing at school because you you're doing that. You hate them at fucking school. It's a good job at all. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing would only get you so far. So I would go complete herd immunity and just open the doors and go, everyone go in and enjoy yourself for that one day. Apparently we were allowed to do it at Christmas, so let's go and do it fucking now. I'm kind of... So that, there's not many left of us in the vaping community. We are trying to grow it, you know. So, so all the vapors in one room, get COVID, and then we'll get it over and done with. Why is exactly. Big Tobacco not thought of that? Exactly, herd immunity. And here's the thing, DC comes up with a very good point. We all know that vapour hanging, and it's it's been proven by, by doctors and scientists and pish like that, vapour hanging in the air actually kills viruses and bacteria. What's the first thing you see when you walk into an expo? Clouds! Oh, I was going to say the bed, we had no clothes on, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's it's either that or that bloke shouting with microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, the guy. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, hell, you've just killed everybody now. So sorry to anybody who's got earphones on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that. And everyone's now That's dead. what made me choke. <laughs> just lost fucking people. 100 viewers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he, he hasn't been he hasn't been casting for quite a while, ladies and gentlemen. Please, <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, earphone. <laughs> yeah, sorry, earphone here. I, I forgot. Very I only just learned how to use gallery mode last week. Don't forget. You did actually, yeah. And you've got everyone wanting to kill you now. There you go, Adam. <laughs> yes, no one's been to an expo. That is a perfect representation of it. Yeah. That is actually. That is. <laughs> Last week, Adam, everyone loved you. Now they want to kill you. <laughs> well, I, I have to do the pod. I'm, I'm going to take the press pod this week. I have never, ever seen this many people sat down there saying that the deaf since I watched that deaf school going to a fucking McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> well, last week we had put offending the whole UK and now you're actually. offending the deaf community. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, they won't mind. Don't say that, Aiden. <laughs> so oh, to answer no. to answer oh, no, to, to answer thing is, you need to go <laughs> to answer Gil's question an expo cannot be adapted in the current covid situation because the 2 meter rule could not be observed inside an expo sorry guys for them to do that sorry. it would mean i mean you're you're talking tens of thousands of people buying tickets what the expo organizer would need to do is limit it down to maybe 5000 people in one day what they would then need to do is lay out what is essentially a track system so people can follow the marks like in supermarkets people can follow the steps all the way around don't <laughs> spend too much time talking to people and then go out you can't do an expo in the current climate you can't no, do it. You can't. But saying that, at Birmingham NEC, they've already got the beds ready, so we'll be fine, won't we? Actually, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's you know what's true. really funny? Red is about six hours behind. Everybody's going, I'm deaf. I'm going, I'm deaf. I'm absolutely <laughs> fucking deaf. And then he's gone, bring back Cadbury. Marvel <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Red needs to refresh the screen. It, do you know in about five minutes, he's going to go, oh, fucking hell, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, t I'm trying to be pod this week. That's all. I'm trying to get pod a bit low. Oh fuck! I just gotta wait to hear Red's next comment. It's gonna be <laughs> so here we go. Cute. That was a that was that was a good question, Gail. This one's from Martin Hart, <sighs> mainly for Solo. <laughs> Although oh, Solom, Solom's not the only one that's used Mex, but also to all casters. What's the scariest thing? that's ever happened to you they did call. when you were using and or building on a mech. 
you first solo. Cheers. <laughs> what was the question? The, the only, oh, the only, and I, I, I can hand on heart, the only time that I, I'm going to say I shit myself, was I had a hog, the first ever hog I ever had, Ooh. and I accidentally... That one I used to say, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> hog. It's a bomb. No, do it how you did it. I the, the reason was the first ever hog I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put the batteries in the right way round. Um, if you've ever used a hog, trying to get that battery door open <laughs> when it's getting hot, not good. It's a nightmare. Yes. Yeah, and I did. I honestly shit his own. But that's the only time. I, to be fair, I had. At my first mech went to Mark actually. I had the Fuhatan clone. And I had a plume veil on the top. And I to be fair, I had a hot spot. And this, this is at a time where There it is. Yeah. You you cleaned it all off because it used to have a white casing around it, didn't it? It did. Used to have a white finish to it. And it was a lovely mech. Now now I can appreciate mechs, but at the time I and not long since, I, when we were doing the original iteration of Last of the Summer Vapes, you was the mech guy, I was the regulated guy. We stock coil tanks. I couldn't build for shit back then. I can't build now, but I really couldn't build then. So <clears throat> I'd built the plume veil, and I'd, I'd, I'd done everything that you were supposed to. I'd done the own checker, because obviously we didn't have uh, reliable mods like we do now with DNA boards and stuff like that that can read the ohms correctly. So mm -hmm. obviously, back in the day, we had to use an ohm, ohm reader. And it, it weren't like your DNA one that you've got, were it, Vic? They were, they were the old ones that, that you screwed in the top and they had red little flashing lights yep. and stuff like that. So I'd built, I'd built, I think it were like a 0.4 or something like that, 0 0.04, uh, not 0 0.04, a 0 0.4 ohm. And I'd screwed it down and obviously I'd not raked because I'd concentrated so much on hitting a perfect ohm for it. <laughs> I'd screwed it down and I'd not raked it. <laughs> so I'd put the plume veil on put the mod to my mouth and obviously hot spot dry hit i were like no that there's something wrong there's some put it down and i'll turn around to mark and i went i, I can't use this do you want it and that, i absolutely bricked it because i thought that there was something wrong with with this obviously i didn't know back then that mech mod was like a bomb <laughs> i'm waiting for you go on no i'm waiting for out bro it's a bomb! <laughs> it's a bomb! We, we all know what, what my thoughts of Met Mods are. I, I did my first review on a Met Mod uh, a few months back. Um, and that, that's the only reason why, is because obviously I've come a little bit further on in my journey and I felt a little bit more confident of doing it. The biggest thing on a Met Mod, if you don't know what you're doing, don't use one. Don't do that. It's a bomb. Because you can get yourself yeah. into a hell of a lot of trouble, whether it's a little tiny nick on a battery, yeah. if it, in it you, you haven't seen it. If you've built too low, it, there's things there that people, they all look lovely. And they, you get these mods that look gorgeous. And they oh, I want these. And they hit like a train. But they also take your fucking head off if you don't do it right. Mm. It's, it's micro tears. They're the things that you have to watch out for. We, we always used to say, and I don't think it's said enough nowadays, but when you're building for a mech, it's not just a build you have to look out for. You have to look at your batteries. You have to, the, the tear that you see, it is necessarily not the dangerous one. It's the tear that you don't. You don't we're, exactly. We're quite fortunate yep. nowadays because mech mods have got a lot of mech mods have got Delrin inserts in the middle. Yeah, yeah, they do. Whereas back then it was a copper tube. It were a copper tube. There mm. were no safety whatsoever. <sighs> and 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 nowadays we have constant contact switches. We have um, <clears throat> Delrin inserts. We have uh, we, uh, we had kicks. The amount stuff like of that people I've before. seen. That's actually put sub ohm tanks oh, fuck. on a that, that, that was the biggest thing over in the US, wasn't it? Yeah. They were saying about how dangerous in the US that vaping was, and it was all the facts of the people were putting sub ohm tanks on there. Yeah. Don't put a sub ohm tank on a mech. No. Especially a hybrid. Just don't fucking I, do it. I even uh, D DC said it perfectly there. You need to know Worm's law. P perfect perfect thing is i won't even use an rta on a mech if i'm ever using a mech it has to be an rda i don't know why i just have this this i don't think that the 510s protrude just uh, just the right amount on an rta than they do on an rda because in my eyes still and i don't know whether it's because i've got blinkers on but an RTA is built for a mech 
is built for a mech. An RDA is not. An RDA, in my eyes, in my blinkered eyes, is for a regulated mod. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with a mech. Absolutely no, nothing no. wrong with a mech. But you've got to remember, you are the safety. Yep. Yep, Top and yeah. bottom of it, you are the safety. You yeah, cannot no rely on the mod. That's and I'm joking apart, you know, I say it's a bomb. Uh, obviously, I did the review on the Trishul, um, and that's got quite a number of safety mechanisms built into it, but I really did enjoy using it. Um, I built low, I didn't go really low on it. I built, I think I, I were at like something like two on it, something like that. So it wasn't like it was massively low, and I was comfortable. That had an insulator in it. I'll tell you one thing, and I would say to anybody, if you think that you'd like to get into mechs, go and buy a Soul Keeper. Yeah, it looks like it. a mech. It feels like a mech, but it's regulated. Can you yeah. still get them? Yeah, I've got yeah. one here. Yeah, I think they're still for sale. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. Do you know what I really love about this? You know, we talk about ideas as well. This will take a 21700 and an 18650, but the only thing you do is you just swap it around. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah. the, the tubes go smaller. So you, you take that off and swap it around, and then you put an 18650 in it and do it the other way around. I think that's just an absolute corking idea. Mm. Lovely, lovely mod. That yeah. glows in the dark. Got a lovely switch to it. So yeah, if you're thinking about good. getting into mechs, I'd get one of them first. If you like red, green, blues, or RGBs, as they're called, this the first as well. You can still you can still pick up the fush, which were a semi regulated. Mm. Yeah, if you wanted to randomly catch fire on you. Yeah, true. But... Yeah, the fu the fush were a weird one, wasn't it, Mark? I, I actually yeah. never ended up reviewing it at the end. It it were a Cheers, Martin. Cheers, Martin. So Thanks, weird Martin. Mechs. I still won't touch them even though I know all my stuff. I'm just terrified of them. I'll answer the question as well. I am touch wood lucky so far because I generally I generally start shitting myself when I'm reviewing a mech. I've never been a fan of them, never have been a fan of them. So when I get a mech in for review, I am extremely careful with what I do with them. Uh, the, the, last, the last major mech that I had a look at was the Hog XL Classic, and that fucker scared the fuck out of me any time I hit the button. Well, I've got a simple solution for that one, Vic. Give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. That's that's what I've always done. If I've ever got a mech, I mean, I've only had one because I went out and bought that because I thought I were ready for it. But obviously, I wasn't. I always do it. I've only had one though. I just <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I got into mechs is because when I started, the, I think the highest wattage you could get device was about twenty watts. Yeah, with yeah, the DNAs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's how I got into mechs because I obviously I remember back in the day where I was drilling out holes on RDAs to make more airflow. More airflow, the old I go L. Well. Yeah. Well, a lot of people were still using torches. A lot of people were still using torches to make sort of like yeah. uh, mods. I mean, that's where it where the name mod comes from. It's modified, a modified torch. Yeah. Modified torch. Mm. If you go back to the very beginning, I think they might still be up there, the very beginning of Grim Green and the very beginning of Phil Basardo's channel, I think there's a couple of videos there where they're actually modifying torches. Yeah, yeah. Way, way back to the very early videos those two done. I think the videos are still up. I think they are. I, all Grims are, I know that, because uh, obviously going back to do his retro reaction, I went back as far as you can and... He's got some, some re. If you want to see some at really retro, go back and watch him because he's doing uh, bow cartomizers where you're punching them out with a, a, a pipe punch. Yeah, yeah. Like I've got a punch. still got them. Yeah, we used to get a bow cartomizer. You used to have this device. It was a round ring. You went over it and you punched it, and then you actually put that into. That was one of my first ever tanks. Carto tanks. Yeah. 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 Those were the old days. I'll tell you, as, as well, we were talking about it the other week. Why they haven't brought that clear or were it clear eye, whatever it was, the, the actual drip tip. I love that drip oh, tip. That, that oh, the, 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 the knucklehead drip tip. Yeah, yeah those, why have yeah. they been brought back? I absolutely love them. The I'll get day, you one, yeah. Aiden. We've got loads of them at store. <laughs> you actually sell them? No, yeah, we've got them, yeah. I, yeah, I didn't know that store the, still did them. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, the old Nick and I clear thing. Is it a 510 connection then? The, yeah. the eye clear isn't. This one isn't, but you can get the 510 connection. Yeah. I thought they were absolutely brilliant, me. I'll dig one out and I'll get one to you. Thanks, bro. That lives on the desk. 
because I'm not fucking touching it. <laughs> they, they came out of the same. Uh, what, what was it called? Was it the Anakin? Um... The- the eye clear and the eye yeah, eye clear. Yeah, but then it came the, the the square box. Everybody got it, and you could charge your phone from it, but you couldn't vape. The IVP. No, didn't it come with the one that looked like a grenade? No, oh, that that's was, that the Kill cool Fire, them. the Kill cool Fire on. Two. Yeah, the Kill cool Fire Two. Yeah. No, this was this were a square box. That's the answer. It was a square box, and it went up to something like twenty yeah, no. watt and voltage. Yeah, yeah, that's the um, MVP. Hmm. Yeah, MVP. Yeah, MV- the MVP. Yeah, the old you, MVP you too. To, you used to use them for your um, just reviews, reviews Vic. Yeah, the old MVP two with the Udaigo L on top. Yep. Well, yeah, that's fucking going back a long time ago now. Yeah, can you tell what I've been doing over? Yeah, over the last couple of you've weeks. been looking at my old videos again, haven't you? <laughs> what did I tell you about that? Don't look at the old videos. Don't. Oh, don't I help it. Do you know? Oh, you got to. I always bring it back. Six weeks into vaping, you were fucking sending a message to Aspire telling them about the coils. You know, <laughs> vaping six weeks. Yeah, straight in. Well, they were they were fucking awful for the old Nautilus uh-huh. coils back then before they went vertical. Good night, Pip. Sorry about your ears. Good night, Pip. Sorry, Pip. Uh, uh, the, the best one as well is Dave told me I cannot rebuild these Nautilus coils. I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and I did as well. But then. I did as well. <laughs> Rowan, I have been stalking, but that's because in season three there might be some more of Vic coming up. But season three is not for a, for a bit yet, so. Right there. So you're actually, <laughs> you're, I'm, I'm guessing you're actually going to pick what will essentially be the first actual review on the channel. Don't give away my season it three. It doesn't please, fucking Victor. matter because st- I've still got long happy here and look like a fucking mad scientist with a shit camera. It, the thing is, it's all them. It, you're all like that as well. In a I love that bit though. He went from he went from June whatever it was, like the third, did this sort of like vloggy thing and then on June whatever it was, the 19th, all of a sudden his hair had gone and he never told anybody why he did it. Yeah. I just... Mm. Yeah. What, one minute you're looking at some hippie bloke from college who's been smoking weed, and then all of a sudden you've gone to a Shaolin monk. <laughs> well, all you're more in showing his bin how many of me back he uh, that, pouches the word. It, it was, <laughs> and it's like that. Tobacco pouch, tobacco pouch, tobacco pouch. Oh, tobacco I chain smoked. <laughs> the I best one was when he looked round his house, he said, I thought, oh, that's a lovely shade of magnolia. That is supposed to be pure white. <laughs> I oh, remember it's you put... Yeah, I remember you put a picture up of you. Oh, you must have been what about 18, 19? Very early days. And at the side of you, there's an ashtray, and it's like that. That would have been when I was sitting next to the amateur radio rig up yeah, at the old that's house. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was a, I was a heavy smoker for years. Fucking heavy. The, the whole fucking well, apart from my mother, the whole family were heavy smokers. My dad. I went through a 50 gram pouch of amber leaf roughly every three or four days. My every dad went through. Four hours by the looks of that bin. My dad went through a 50 gram pouch of amber leaf in about a day and a half to two days. He would smoke one down, it would go out, he would roll up, light immediately. He chain smoked all the way through the day. Wow. That's why he, cancer got him in the end, probably. He put his tobacco out, didn't he, on, on paper? Then oh, he, roll about. Me, 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 show. My dad was. He was, he was a real ritual for me dad though wasn't it yeah i think he it used was... to lay it out uh, to dry it because he used to smoke oh, he liked to dry it. yeah he used to dry it out and then he would spend ages rolling cigarettes so it was was it was I, to be fair I, I and we've we've actually said this before that the people who smoke roll-ups are more likely to be the hobbyist vapor because it was that ritual. It was that. It was I'm the ritual. Get tip out and I'm going to roll it. We we transferred that rolling ritual into I'm going to build my coil. I'm mm. going to wick it. I'm going to set it all up. It's all done. And and we said that years ago. Yeah. Years ago. It was the ritual. It was. Anyway, I've just looked at the time. We've got 10 minutes left to run the giveaway. So there's no geek vape because UPS are fucking idiots. So I raided the giveaway shelves up in the studio, and we're going to be giving away one of these. Ooh, Arbiter. That's a, yeah, a good fucking tank. It is, yeah. Geek Vape it is. Zeus X2. It's basically what it is, yeah. We're going to give away one of these, and because it's a rebuild, we've blotto, got to get... Not Blotto, um, the bulk mixed in, into it? There's a little yeah. bit of the bulk in there. 
Because it's a rebuildable, we're going to chuck in some proper coils. Cheers, John, for the new set of coils, because I ran out. Um... Use Little Bro Vapes 10, get 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> you like with the cones? <laughs> going to chuck in a set of proper coils. Three core aliens, which would be perfect for that tank. There we go. Oh, Daniel. Proper coils. Grams of old Orbin in two days out like drum. So the giveaway is for these two. This giveaway is open worldwide. See, see, this is what happens, Aiden, when you use a Logitech. You can actually see things. Well, no, I've, I've got my lighting right, haven't I? You have, that's I don't true. Know, your, your fish tank, your ashtray on back's lighting up well good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> So the key That's one... what Paul Jay said, why have you got an ashtray in a fish tank? <laughs> so the key word is in honour of our wonderful guest. I'm going to pop a link in. In fact, Stuart's already doing it. Cheers, Stuart. Go and subscribe to Mr. Soliomi. He's been reviewing for a very long time now. He's almost part of the dinosaur crew, which I'm in. Aren't you, Mark? Yeah, pretty much. So the key word is Solom. Type it once, once only. Don't spam it or you're automatically disqualified. And also, please... go! Also, please make sure you get over the, the shows on a Thursday, half past seven. It's just before us. It's a corking show. It's a good show. You've got uh, BFG on there, and you've also got the wonderful Steve Dealey Gaff Porter on there. It's a corking show. Get over there. Get yourself all warmed up for this show. Yep, that's what we do. We warm we warm people up for this show. Yes. We're the and it, it is. I said it at the top of the show. that it, it. Do you know what? Week after week after week, it's just getting better and better. Thank you. That's a good show. Yeah, hell, bro. There's a lot of solos in there. There is. I'll say something. Last, if anyone after this show, if you're looking for something to watch, go back and watch. I'm, I'm not going to say watch this week's show straight after. Go back and watch last week's show that Mark did about music. It was, it was easily, easily. Well, what we do, we, we don't done. just talk about vaping. We talk about retro stuff. We talk about music, film, TV. We watch um, so like comics and things like that. We, we do a bit of all sorts. Yeah, it's a lead bike chat show, basically. Mm. Yeah. Warm people. It's flu thing is a, is a porn. porn job, apparently. It is, it is. That's, that that is, is well known. <laughs> the old fluffing with the old... Uh, <laughs> There is quite a few knocking around there, isn't they? What, the... on? Yeah. Fluffers. <laughs> no, so alone, you fucking pillow. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on porn up. <laughs> well, it's a solid job, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. Bless you. <laughs> no, Bambi Boss, I'm, Bambi Boss, at the minute, I am actually um, going through the channel and removing all the dead links from before. So... It's There's an easy way to do that. Bulk replace. Just wipe everything. Start from scratch. That way you don't need to go through each individual video. Oh, nice. oh that's lovely, Stuart. Thank you. I don't watch so long, but I have the I'll audio tell you something. on in the background. Mark, Mark has got the softest voice when he's doing it. Well, they always said that. Mark would be really good for, for um, books, wouldn't he? You know, like audio books. Oh, Audible and audio books and stuff like Skin that. Skin vapor, it's nothing to do with the clones. It's the case that I've got vape links still in older video. I think yeah. I've gone back to two years ago so far, so I've still got... Can't have links in the description now. That's no, a no-no from all, YouTube. Nothing, nothing at all no. to do with clones. Think about it, you, you, there's nothing wrong with clones, but you've still got to be very, very careful what you're doing. And I'm sorry, but clones nowadays, there's no point when you can pick yeah. up normal RDAs for... Dirt. Umi Back wasp. Then. If you if you can search around, the Umi are still making the wasp nano. There's some sites in the UK that have got the original wasp nano oh, for three pound ninety nine. Yeah, get it. The the thing is right. The the thing is back then we were paying thirty forty quid for an RDA, even oh, yeah. the cheapest standard RDAs. Nowadays, because of mass marketing, mass mass production. You can pick up RDAs for, for next to nothing. You're looking at 10 to 20 quid nowadays. No, I them... mean, you go back in the day, you were spending 70 and 80 quid on a decent RDA. I mean, you look at the Goon original. Oh, yeah. A decent RDA would cost you 80 quid upwards. Mm. Well, the, the original like Goon, though, is it's quite an interesting story with that, isn't it? Because obviously they, they it was made for somebody else. I'll tell you something, the Goon 1.5 is the best viewed video on my channel, and it's a clone. And I, I reckon the reason being is because the clone came out and lined its airflow up. The, the Goon 1.5 on original manufacturing line came out 
with the airflow that wouldn't line up. Yeah, the Goon 1.5 was yeah. a bit of a disaster in the first run. Yeah. But the actual Goon was made for somebody else and it didn't actually get took off. So the people who actually bought it, they bought a shed load of them. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Eyed Goon bought it. I still use my goons, both of them, the old one and the yeah. new. They're still good drippers even now. Even now, they're still good drippers. Hephaestus, I'm working Sundays. Sundays are my day, so that's why the show isn't on on a Sunday. Are uh, you working but... a Sunday? Ouch. Yeah. Ooh. But it gets Monday and Tuesday off, or is it Tuesday and Wednesday? Um, it used to be Tuesday and Wednesday until this lockdown and COVID happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It finishes mm. at two now, which is a bit better. Yeah. There you go, Bambi bus. It's not bad. I'm doing, right I'm doing four hours, so I, I, I get paid for four hours and then I'm furloughed for four hours. Craig, the, oh, the seventy, so eighty, hundred dollar RDAs. I, I can, I can vouch for this now more than I could back then. The, the RDAs that were coming out then were just as good on the same level as clone because they concentrate more on the cloning. Well, they also, Nowadays. with reviewing, though, with reviewing clones, especially at that time period, what, 2000, what, 13, 14, 14. 15, yep. yeah, yeah. when the big clones was going off, we was actually doing a service for people, when yeah. you think about it, because yeah, yeah. people was going to buy a clone, is it going to be any good? Is it going to be safe to use? And that's why I always thought we should be allowed to review clones. Yeah. Because then you know you, you're giving a, a, a service to people. Exactly. So, like, don't buy this from <laughs> such and such because yeah. dodgy as hell. There was such a lot work. of reviewers I... that did that at, at, at the beginning and they did clones and you could get away with it. But I, I would say to any any reviewer that's up and coming or anything like that, I'd be very, very. It only takes one little. Re... You got a strike for it, didn't you? Well, you got a, a warning for it, didn't you, bro? Yeah, I've got a warning. Yeah. You yeah. can have yeah. Be very, very careful. Because a lot of the original manufacturers, especially if it was a US manufacturer, they actually started going through. Because back in 2014, 15, and going into 16, a little bit in 16, a lot of the big US manufacturers and some European manufacturers, they kind of ignored reviewers on mm. YouTube. It wasn't yeah. until the reviewers started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the, the, the UK and US started reviewing clones that a lot of the US and European manufacturers basically started putting strikes and they actually started complaining to YouTube and that's why yeah, yeah, the yeah. clone review scene basically died in 2017 and 18. Oh yeah, I mean the worst one was Purge. Yeah, Purge, yeah. Purge yeah, they were the worst. Really, really, yeah. uh, they went after everybody. Everybody. It wasn't too bad when they had the copyrights in the US, but they got the, also the copyrights in the EU as well. Yep. As soon as they got the EU one, they went after every reviewer that did a Purge clone. Exactly, Bill. A lot, of, a lot of these companies. A lot. Of, in fact, SX, SXK now still do clones, but I consider them to be a pretty decent company now because they're releasing some really, really nice stuff over the years. But they were solely, solely mm. clone. Well, let's look at the company that made that EH Pro. They started yeah. as a clone company. <clears throat> it's, it's it's the same as what what Skin's saying. I think it's really, really good that that people are, would would want to do and show people the clones thing of it. It's not so much of that the actual around it. It's more to do with the YouTube. You've got enough trouble trying to keep your channel up as yeah. it is, yeah. than yeah. to start giving them actual reasons oh, to yeah. do it by doing it. Stuart, Nowadays, we've got to be so careful. Very fucking careful now. It's like walking in fucking eggshells anytime you upload a video on YouTube now. Stuart, yeah. I was an amateur I was an amateur radio until the very late 90s. I was a Yesu fanboy. I had a couple of Yesu sets, an old Kenwood set, and I basically... Get, because here's the thing, amateur radio died out because the whole point of ham radio was you can talk to people in fucking Australia. We can do that on the internet. Me and our radio went to CBs, weren't we? Yeah, oh, I love the CV stuff as well. I loved it. I love the CV stuff. I had, I, I, you, well, when you moved out, I had your old back bedroom as my CV room, didn't I? Yeah. The my seat, Antron ma ninety nine upon shed. Antron ninety nine. I started off with the Thunder Pole three with the three legs sticking out the base. Then I went for the Antron. Then I went. Then the Antron snapped in a high one, which I thought was weird because it's fiberglass. Then I went to a cheap ass silver rod, an old Midland. 77 set for the CD, yeah. mm -hmm. then I upgraded to a Cobra. I had Cobra, I had yeah. loads with the ones where with all the splitters with mid band on yeah. and yeah. You know, side band. And Those I were the everything. days, fucking loved CB, loved it. C CBs at the time was the internet, really. It was, 
that was. Yeah. Believe it or not, we were still using CBs with lorry drivers when I worked at Tarmac. Oh, yeah, and a lot of them still use CBs them. in the uh, uh, dumper trucks and the shovels and that lot. We, we talked that way. Because I was there, I was Wolfman. Um, 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 um. I was Chubby. You were called the fucking Kelpie. No, I was I was Chubby Checker. Way. I was Red Dwarf. And the best thing is back then, back then I was like that. In fact, Mark seen the picture when I was younger. I was a fucking stick. Now I'm fat, but back then it was like oh, I'll call myself Chubby Checker because I love the twist. Yeah, Vic was Penfold. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that was Stuart, not me. <laughs> you want to run the giveaway? Oh, fuck the giveaway. Fuck. This is why we have Aiden on, so Aiden can keep track of shit. The only reason he's got me on. <laughs> Aiden said when we first started this, oh, I can sit back and relax. I don't need to run the show anymore. Yeah, he's, oh, yes, he's running the fucking show. <laughs> but also, you've been really, really good the last so many weeks. Apart, obviously, you've not fell asleep, which is always a good part. <laughs> Uh, and then also you've put you've been putting casters questions out Whoa, i make sure to put casters questions out just before i leave the studio just before and i leave a big it. thanks to jenny for for the for the cracking picture for the new oh, picture which awesome, you can actually see the picture is i've actually got the pictures up in the cast screen it's uh, over there next to aiden's head there we go i i'd never seen jenny's jenny's artwork i followed her on instagram oh, jenny's but... absolutely amazing mm. but... so the winner of this has open worldwide, by the way, for the people wondering. The winner of the Oxford Arbiter, this one's in black. Oxford Arbiter in black. And looks like that. Looks like that. There we go. Looks like that. The R Spider. And a set of proper coils, three core aliens. The winner is. I just hope it fucking runs because Nightbot's been seriously fucked up because chat's not running right. The winner is. Roll it! It's one of the semi regulars, Billy! Yay! Billy pops up in chat in the early, although sometimes I don't see Billy chatting at the end, so he might have fucked off. So this is why I always ask, do you want it? Do you want it? This is why we make sure people are still in. Do you want it? Do you want it? Come on. Are you there? Fuck, I hope See, Billy... that's another one as well. You don't see many of them, do you? Toffee crisps. Oh, there he goes. No, oh, you still get toffee crisps. The local shop still sells them. Billy says, holy shit. So I'm guessing Billy actually wants it. What I need you to do, Billy, is I need you to email this email address that I'm about to type into chat with your name and address. Topic. I like a nice topic. Topic or a boost. What's a boost? A boost. <laughs> I did like a boost. Boost is nice. Email that email address, Billy, and I'll get this sent out to you next week at some point. Awesome. Congratulations, Billy. Well done. And a big thanks to UPS for fucking up my price of my, my fucking fucking UPS. Fuck. Uh, no apparently, the, apparently no they're resending it. it under DHL. If not, you'll have to give another one 44 arbiters that you've got. We've only got two left. There's me, clean, there's me cleaning out my fucking tank to do a review. You're so right. I'll open the fucking packaging. Usually, when it comes to companies, they usually send they, usually they send one for review and one spare. That's what usually happens with me. Well, when you're when you're actually at the, the lower end of it, they, you're lucky if they actually fucking send one. <laughs> 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 he sat down there with like four or five of them, and a lot of people would think that being on the UK vape show, he might share, but he doesn't share. I must admit, I am ready for a steak bake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we wrap this up, fellas? Let's wrap it up. Right, who are we going to pick on first? We picked an, we picked an Adam. We'll pick an Aiden this time. Big love to everybody. Thank you very much to all the spanners who have looked after us tonight. You've been a bunch of stars. Thank you so much. Everybody makes it in chat. Thank you so much to everybody who catches on the replay. Big love to the Pudley Bear. I hope everything's all nice and dandy at home. We love you loads. Adam, you've been an absolute star. Vic, you're an absolute star. Brother, my my big brother, who was 50 
on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Please get over. Make sure you give because me a You could have just said it was his birthday. <laughs> I, I, I'm still loving it. I'm still loving it. Um, it. It was his 50th birthday on Sunday. Please make sure you get over to my brother and subscribe. Make sure you check out the home service on a Thursday uh, just before us. Absolute corking show. Big love, bro. Big love, Adam. And, and this was the uh, last of the Summer Vapes takeover. <laughs> yes, it was, actually. It was. That was Eden on to Adam. Uh, big, big thank you to all the Spanners and everyone in chat. Hopefully we've got round to you and, and hopefully said hello, goodbye, good night, hello, goodbye, good night, and all that. Uh, big love to Pud. Hopefully everything's all right at home. We missed you. Um, big love to everyone, everyone. Uh, Mark, it's been great having you on. Uh, obviously, as always, like, like Aiden says, a bit of a last of the summer vapes takeover which is which is never 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 anything wrong is it uh, and i will reiterate it get over there watch the home service live on a thursday before us it, it, you know what it's one of one of one of the best out there and it is absolutely cracking hopefully everyone's hearing's returning and i am very very sorry uh for, for going a little bit wild on the microphone i forget that people wear headphones nowadays and i'm still back in back in the day uh, Red's but... just come in and gone, ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, you've been you've been absolutely great, good night. And that was Adam, on to our fantastic guest, Mr Mark Solom Reviews. Just want to say thank you, Vic. Thank you, Aidan. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, chat. It's been lovely. It's, it really has. It's been like one of our old shows. It has, actually. It, it has. I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so big thank you to all of you and that was episode 282 of the last of the uk summer vape shows don't forget go and subscribe to solom and go and watch his show that's on right before our starts it's on every thursday right before our starts go and subscribe go and subscribe to solom now pud i hope your kids get better very soon hopefully it's just a little bug that's going around but we're all thinking about you pud big thanks of course to our wonderful hosts Mr. Aiden of Little Bro Vapes, Mr. Adam of Retro Vape TV, and a massive thank you to our wonderful, wonderful guest. Faster, I need a wee. What? To our wonderful you guest, Mr. Mark Solon Reviews. Big thanks to the spanners, big thanks for everyone who's watching. Next week's guest will hopefully, if I remember to message him, be Mike Vapes from over in the United States. That's it from us. We will see you all next week. Piss flaps. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty burger. <laughs> <laughs> Ball bumping. <laughs>